Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss the introduction to Dirac Delta Function. That is, in this video, I will discuss that the perspective of Dirac Delta Function or you can say that where the Dirac Delta Function is required with a very simple example of electrostatics. So, so let us start. Uh, suppose we have a function V and the function V is like this uh, 1 by r square r cap where r is the distance okay the radial distance so you can uh, relate with this that this is nothing but uh, the form of the coulomb's law right right we know that in coulomb's law uh, for a charge like this is a charge uh, q this is a charge q pointed here so this will radiate electric fields right electric fields spreading outside at every direction radially outside and electric field and the equation or the expression of the electric field produced by that charge at the point that is the charge which is uh, situated at that point uh, radiates electric fields these are the fields and the uh, uh, expression of the field electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 or q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r square and r cap so from here you can understand that this is nothing but constant this is a constant so this is nothing but this okay so we are considering this type of function okay so here in this case you can easily understand from this figure that the electric field lines are radially outward from this point and you can uh, understand that when we go uh, uh, far away from the point we uh, the electric fields that is the vectors the field vectors are separating with each other right this is the separation right but when we uh, come to the point come to the origin that is where the uh, r equals to zero at the point at the point where the charge is situated charge is situated there r is equals to zero right but at when we approach at the point origin you can understand that the field lines the electric field lines or the field vectors are uh, approaching to each other okay they are uh, very close to each other so this indicates if you know the physical significance of divergence or the real meaning of divergence what divergence signifies uh, so you can understand that uh, at the region at the region near to the point or near to the point r equals to zero that is near to the point where the charge is situated there is a huge uh, di the area is a huge divergence at that is at the point at the particular point uh, is a point that is a point of high divergence okay so we have understand this physically you uh, if you have not un if you don't know what is the physical meaning of divergence so i have made a video already uh, you can uh, go and watch that video uh, the link of the video i will give in the description box physical significance of divergence so now uh, we have understand it that this there is the high divergence okay the point is a high divergence now we have understand it physically now mathematically if we calculate the divergence of this it is del dot v this is a vector obviously so what we will get the divergence theorem of a spherical polar coordinate we can get that this is equals to 1 by r square into del del r of r square into the function that is into a1 that is here a1 is 1 by r square as the other component that is the components of theta and phi uh, which are denoted in the spherical polar coordinates is missing here here it is only a radial function uh, or here only is the component of the r cap is present the other components that is the components of theta and theta cap and phi cap are not present here so this will look like this right 
the divergence will look like this so this will come to here r square and r square can be divided and this will be del del r of 1 that is obviously 0 and we will get that ultimate will get the ultimate result to be 0 right so del dot v is 0 here okay but we have understand it physically that here is not 0 here cannot be 0 this is a high divergence area but okay now if we uh, calculate if we imagine okay if we imagine a spherical surface or a sphere okay a hollow sphere around this point around the charge imagine just imagine this uh, in 3d space so the there is this area surface area of the sphere and there is also a volume of the sphere so if we calculate v dot da where da is the small surface surface element of that imaginary sphere so we will and if we uh, integrate it over the surface of the sphere surface integral then we will get what we will understand now so v dot da so in spherical polar coordinates da, da is nothing but r square sin theta d theta and d phi where r is the radius of that particular sphere of that particular imaginary sphere and v uh, here v is nothing but r cap and yes here this will be r cap the surface element the surface element has a r cap okay and this will dot and r cap divided by uh, r square why r square capital r square which is the radius of the sphere because uh, we are calculating uh, v at each and every point of that particular sphere right uh, suppose this is the sphere so at uh, uh, the radius of the sphere is capital r so v at any point of the surface any point on the surface will be what will be nothing but r cap by r square as the radius is fixed now if we calculate this surface integral so we will get as this is divided and r cap and r cap dot so this will be a simple uh, multiplication and this will result out to be 4 pi so the surface integral v dot da is 4 pi but uh, we know that Gauss divergence theorem tells us that the surface integral v dot da is nothing but it is equal to the divergence of v into dv and dv is what dv is the volume element of that particular uh, sphere of that particular imaginary sphere of which uh, the area the area is da okay that particular sphere and the volume of that particular sphere is dv okay small volume element and there is the volume integral so this is equal to this that is the surface integral is equal to this volume integral according to the uh, gauss divergence theorem okay gauss divergence theorem but we have calculated that delta v is zero so this is coming out to be zero so what is happening here this is a result uh, and the result is 4 pi and here the volume integral is 0 but we know that the Gauss divergence theorem is not wrong obviously the Gauss divergence theorem is not wrong but what is happening here here the left hand sides are equal using the Gauss divergence law but the right hand sides are not equal so where is the main mistake we have taken the real mistake which we have done is here at this point imagine that we have a sphere right imagine that sphere and we are calculating uh, the delta v and we are calculating the delta v at each and every point of that sphere okay and when and think about the point at that origin that is where r equals to 0 then at that point what is this what is the condition of this this will be simply 0 square 
divided by 0 square as r is equals to 0 at that point at the point of the origin so we cannot that is this is 0 by 0 form and we cannot divide this and uh, put this value 1 and put uh, that is this cannot be result out to be 1 because mathematics does not allow this okay this is indeterminate form so we cannot divide this and this cannot be 1 so this is 0 by 0 form and we have uh, we have done this mistake we have divided this for all point for all point of the uh, imaginary sphere yes it is it is correct for each and every point of the sphere but except at the origin that is except the point r equals to 0 but we have calculated for all the points and the, and that's why del dot v is turned out to be 0 that is from here we can understand that uh, all the contributions all the contributions yes the right hand side must be equals to 4 pi why 4 pi because here we can um, divide r square by r square because here r here r is fixed and that is the radius of the sphere the imaginary sphere here r is r, here r cannot be zero because r is fixed here r is not variable okay because it is a surface integral so here uh, nothing is done wrong okay here nothing is wrong so this result will be uh, this result is correct this will be uh, 4 pi obviously this will be 4 pi so this right hand side the volume integral of the right hand side must be equal to 4 pi right this must be equal to 4 pi but we are getting this 0 because of what because of the point at r equals to 0 because we cannot calculate r, uh, uh, calculate del, del dot v at r equals to 0 so all these things think about this that all these things this is this should be equal to 4 pi and we are uh, we are we cannot calculate it at r equals to 0 and that's why we are getting this as uh, del dot v equals to 0 so from here and here we can understand that all the contribution is coming for all the contribution contribution to get 4 pi the result 4 pi is coming from the point at r equals to 0 that is the point the origin where the charge is situated and where we we are not able to calculate del dot v and that's the reason that del dot v has a bizarre property that it vanishes vanishes at, at all the points except at r equals to 0 and the integral the volume integral of del dot v for any volume of uh, the sphere it turns out to be 4 pi okay for any volume now we can understand this uh, situation with a physical uh, example okay suppose we are considering uh, the density the mass den uh, the density okay density is what density is mass per unit volume so we are uh, considering the density of a point mass okay that is we have a point mass that is all the mass all the mass is concentrated at this point all the mass is concentrated at this point that is here if it is mass m so here at this is a point mass that is all the masses are concentrated at the particular point okay at that particular point and we know that the point uh, have uh, volume tends to zero right volume tends to zero points volume is tends to zero so at this point the uh, what is the density what is the density uh, we are denoting it with rho the density at that particular point of the point mass it will be m divided by volume that is tends to zero right tends to zero so this will tend to infinity obviously this will tend to infinity so so the density of the point mass have a great value at that point at that particular point and if we calculate it at any point suppose we have a sphere we are considering the same sphere here and at any point of the sphere if we calculate the density rho we will get what we will get it to zero as there is no mass right the mass is concentrated at only at the point at this point okay because this is a point mass so this can be related with this problem so such a difficult problem we know that the result uh, is 4 pi right but we are not able to calculate here the del dot v right we are not able to calculate del dot v because of this thing 
which I have already discussed. So how this can be solved, how this problem can be solved. Here introduces the uh, Dirac delta function. Okay, here is the necessity of a Dirac delta function. Now, what is this and how this problem can be solved with the help of Dirac delta function? We'll discuss in the next class of this session. And we'll make I will make a playlist of Dirac delta function and give the uh, link of the playlist in this uh, video's description box. And uh, in the upcoming classes, we will understand how this prob problem can be solved with the with using the Dirac delta function and I will also uh, discuss the details of Dirac delta function, the 2D Dirac delta function and 3 dimensional Dirac delta function. So I hope that this video is very helpful to you. Uh, if you really benefit, if you are really benefited, uh, then like this video and share this video with your friends and take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.